Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys my Comic Con haul, what I picked up, how much I spent. Right now, I put out the number of dollars I spent on each um, purchase, I suppose. And then I will tie them up real quick for you just to show you how much I spent overall. And then afterwards, I'll break down like each pile of what I bought and my like interaction, everything like that. So this one is $400 for this whole entire stack. $105 for this small stack, $20 for this stack, and $160 for this one. And then I have one over here for $80. So in total, that's $240, $260, like $660, $765. And then I bought this ETB, this Brilliant Stars ETB for $30. Bucks. That's actually a pretty good deal. Um, I know on Black Friday you get it for cheaper, but... Like as as of now, it's pretty expensive, I suppose, like thirty to forty dollars. So I mean, thirty is pretty good. Decided to pick one up. Had a good conversation with the guy, so I figured why not. Uh, so that's seven ninety five. Then this was ten dollars. Um, I forgot where I picked this up. This is ten dollars. I hope it has Cosmic Clip and Rebel Clash, but I don't know. Then I had I picked up these three. Um, this one was the last one on the rack, so. I picked this up before and then these two I picked up for like six. So in total, like a little over $800, we'll say. So let's see if we get our money back on it. I'm not going to open up the ETB because that's going to take too much time. Um, let's go. I'm curious what packs this one has first. So I'm going to open up this and see what packs comes inside um, because it could be like a repack. But if not, then like it's it's way worth it because all I need scissors. $10 to get a Cosmic Clips pack and a Rebel Clash pack would be amazing. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling it's going to be a repack, but I'm not entirely sure. So let's find out. Come on. All right. Oh, yeah. 100%. It's a repack. We have Lost Origin and Astro Radiance. So we did get scammed, which I'm definitely not too happy about because these are the Gallard Piratons. Um, we did get a Charizard coin, so that's good. But these are... That was a scam. So we paid ten dollars for these two, which is overpriced. I'm just gonna open them just because. Um, hopefully, we can get our money back or ten dollars. Astro Radiance has some decent pulls in it, but nothing that I super want except for them champ. And I don't know, but it has a black and green code card. I doubt there's anything good. I feel like nowadays there's a bunch of repacks going on, so I don't think these are gonna be too good. But you know who knows. So let's go ahead and just go into this real quick. Got a Leaf Energy, Trekking Shoes, Magneton, Roxanne, Swinub, Nicket, Petalil, Bergmite, Hippopotas, Noctowl, and okay, we got a Golden Origin Form Diaga B Star. You know, I don't know the value of this, but it's a gold card, and that's actually sick because I never pulled this before, and that is amazing. So we probably, I need a card symbol quick. We probably got our money back, but not entirely sure. But I would say that's the W. So, I mean, it wasn't a full waste for that $10 you got a hit. And then we still have a Lost Origin pack, so. Dude, that one ripped so poorly. You see that? That's, like, gotta be a repack, right? <laughs> oh, why was that code card backwards? Oh, <laughs> yeah, this one's definitely pretty bad. We're just gonna go through it. I don't... We got a Machop, Pikachu, Jinx, Libric, Oddish... Landris, Dottler, Rhydon, Rose Rage. So that one was like definitely like a repack. Scam pack, I like to call it, but the other one wasn't. So that's fine. I'll take this. $10 for this. I don't know what the price is on this, but it's, it's near mint. So we'll take that. All right, next, um, let's go into one of the cheaper ones. So this one, I'll go over my interaction and everything like that. Um, this is this group I bought from a while ago. So I'm pretty familiar with them. But let's see what we got. We have a Scizor from one of the new sets. The Machamp VMAX. Um, I don't even know what's that. Astral maybe. Gyarados EX. A Larvitar. And then we have a $15 Haunter Hollow Fossil um, 5. This was a steal. This goes for like, I think, 25 So to me, I thought this was really great. And then I think they wanted like two on the Larvitar, one on the Gyarados. Three in the champ and three in the scissors. So in total, that's three, six, nine, twenty-four dollars, and he did it for twenty, which is great. So that was a big W for me. Twenty bucks for that. I think that's a great deal. 
and at the end you can let me know what you guys think was the best deal all right next i'll go into this one right here and then i'll also put up some packs right after that so this one i'm going to show the best part of it first is this Leafeon <coughs> v from evolving skies um it's like an alt art this goes for around 50 dollars like raw but with a psa 10 it's around 90 dollars i believe to a hundred dollars i've seen like it range on ebay from like 90 to like 120 um and i i'd rewrapped it and everything like that to make it look nice but i thought this was a very solid pull i never can get this pull myself evolving skies is getting too expensive i saw this for a hundred dollars this was a hundred dollars by itself he would not go any lower on it which i understand so i was like yeah i'll pick it up right now that's a very fair price for it it's kind of it's kind of you know has some potential in the future especially psa 10 so hundred dollars for this was a great pickup for me i think that's great and then these he gave me a deal and said like you know six of them for five dollars they're each about like a dollar dollar fifty each so we got score bunny grookey magnemite viper orangu and froki which i'm okay with um 105 dollars for that that's fine we'll take that so i spent 125 there um let's go into this last pack this one i saw this vendor only had one pack left it was looking pretty sad and it called my name so i figured to pick it up let's see if we can get a hit from it or if it was a waste of four dollars looks like it was a waste of four dollars <laughs> but that's okay we got energy first moth nine tails token tomorrow snorlax Dom, dreepy makuhita rickety schoolgirl and a maractus all right we wasted the four dollars and then we have two more packs let's just break into them we spent a total of ten dollars on all three so if we can get ten dollars worth from the three packs that'd be great but again not looking too good we got fire energy sydney cross surger excadrill pantsier my noon baltoy going chrysola quillfish trubbish and a yveltal and then vivid voltage there's really nothing i want besides obviously the rainbow chocachu but rainbow pikachu but who knows let's see uh nothing good really tough really really tough okay we got hakuna matang alistair tynamo cloudpuss boo bat Talo, charmander here's metal and a garbador so wasted ten dollars but that's what you get for chasing that's all good all right, which one should we go into next? Why don't we go into the big pile of the $400 one. And to start off, there is a $4 pack they gave me for free. So we'll open up this. This is Paldea Evolved. I definitely need the Iono from this one. I think I got a good deal from this one, but it was also like pretty... Uh, I bought a lot of cards, <laughs> to say the least. All right, Basic Energy, Flinks. Combi, Jigglypuff, Girafferig, Grombadier, Flamigo, Paleontauros, Tarantula, Glamora, and a Garganical. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Unlucky. Was hoping to get a hit from there. Okay. Let's take a look at the massive pile. Let's start with the small cards first, and then we'll show you the rest of the cards. <clears throat> All of these, I think they listed for like a dollar something. So we got a Blaziken V Max, Kieran V Max, Kieran V Max, Shapiro V Star, and Nine Tails Break. Um, by the way, these are all LP to near mint. This Nine Tails Break is because the conditioning definitely matters when you're purchasing cards. This one is more so lightly played because it has a nick on the bottom. Slowbro EX definitely more so moderately played. It has a couple of nicks everywhere, um, but the rest are damn near near mint so we got aerodactyl v star two of them deoxys v star umbreon v charizard v lucario v star leafion v star and the other leafion v star so two different promos a scissor v max gengar v derulodon v max zeraora v star glaring slow king v max bikini v max zeraora v max and a palkia v star and these were only like 25 cents a piece so i decided to pick up these base set in the shadowless ponyta so pretty good pickups there uh, i thought those are very fair prices for what i was paying and then we have the star of the day this solgaleo um they wanted like a hundred for it so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the 
the conditioning of it because I wasn't sure when I was there. It's too hard to see. <clears throat> but I hope it's really good and in gradable quality. So we're going to take a look at this together. I don't even want to touch it. So this is Sogaleo Luminology X. It's approximately $120. And I don't really see anything wrong with it. They told me there was a dent on it. You guys see a dent though? Hold on. I do not see anything wrong with it. Maybe on the back. The back looks very clean too. Um, I don't even see a scratch on it. So I don't know where they are saying there's a dent on it. But I mean, if they're going to give me that for a hundred bucks, I think I was like, yeah, I got to take it right now and I'll just go with it. So yeah, hundred dollars for that. I see nothing wrong with it. I am going to take a chance and try and get it graded. Okay. And if it comes back, like, I don't know, damaged or whatever, like a lower than a seven, then I'll know they're telling me the truth because I don't know. I couldn't tell. I, I really can't tell. It looks pretty new to me. I don't know where the guy said there was damage on it. So, I don't know. Um, it's not perfectly centered, but I'll take like an, even like a 10 or 9 on this. So, there we go. Next, we have a Erica's Venusaur. Um, this one was, I believe, damaged. They wanted like 25 for it. Actually, it's like heavily played or damaged, I guess. There's a little little mark there, if you could see. Bend. Yeah, it's a little bent in the corner there. Okay, so yeah, I paid uh, like 25 for this Erica's Venusaur. Very expensive card. This Corinna, I paid like 15 for. Um... It's in like moderately played, so that's fair. This Espeon Deoxys, like around 15, they said there was a dink in this one too, but it looks pretty clean to me, um, other than the small minor nicks. So I would say this is more like moderately played. I didn't see the ding in it, what they were talking about. Like, I don't know. I don't know. This one was a steal. I think they listed it as like $10 or something. And I was like, oh, I'm picking that up easily. Cause it's like, Given the conditions, lightly played, kind of mildly played, but this is like a twenty dollar card art all day long, so really solid pickup. Um, they wanted five or six for this, and I was like, "Yep, I'm doing it." Actually, they listed it for nine, but then I asked them to recheck it because of conditioning, and they said like, "All right, six, five, or whatever." I'm like, "Deal." Landorus was like five dollars, mildly played, pretty cool card from Black and White era. We got this Torterra. Um, four or five dollars. I th I thought it's a level X card. Why not? It's pretty old, even though it's a heavy played. This was about ten dollars. Um, I needed one for my collection, so I'm gonna keep this for me because I need one for for me. So put this one to the side. Marnie's Pride, a classic. I think they wanted nine or ten dollars for this one. I decided to pick it up. It's a near mint. I'll do that all day long. Um, Mega Mewtwo EX, I believe eight. That was kind of expensive for me. I don't think it's in bad condition though, so I really can't say much. Wait, 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 wait. Before I speak. Oh shoot. All right, it's in more like my play condition. But eight dollars for that. I was on the fence, but I uh, picked it up. Waylord EX, this was about seven. It's pretty good for lightly played, so take that. Heracross EX, seven or eight, I believe, moderately played. That's pretty good. Um, this was like a $10 card, but the only reason I did it is because it's off centered, so I feel like it'll go for more money. Um, I don't think I'll keep this card just because it's off centered, and I don't really like off center cards, so I'll probably look to sell this one. But it's really sweet, it's in near mint condition. Very cool. Um, this Charizard was about $3, which is about the going rate for it. And that's pretty reasonable for me. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. These Gitas, they had at $8, but then I asked them to recheck the price and they did like three or four for each. Um, these are both a near mint. I have three Dedenes. I just love these. Um, I think the price of these are going up soon. They're going to run out. These came from the, the trainer, trainer Toolkits. Super colorful card, super, I guess, cute card, and everyone will like that. So I was like, yeah, I'll pick them all up. $2 a piece, pretty solid deal. 
Um, these recreates were like three dollars. They're going like for five or six right now, but in this condition, I think he gave me a pretty good deal. So, Squirtle, a dollar. The McDonald's one, Celebration one, whatever. This one is pretty nice. This Septile GX has a little dink up top. Um, you really can't see it on camera though, but it does have a dink. It's really lightly played, and they gave me it for a dollar. So I was like, yeah, do it. Astro's Premonition, they gave me this for two or three, and I think they underpriced it pretty heavily because it's around like six. So really good steal. Um, this one was three dollars. That's fair. These two were four each. That's also very fair. So we'll take both of those. Toxic Croak EX was either five or six, which is pretty fair for mildly played. This was three dollars. Malamar EX. These cards are really nice. So pick them up. This one he charged me five for. It was realistically like four, but I was like, whatever. It's a dollar here. He gave me good deals on the other ones, so I'll take that. Snorlax. He charged me five or six. Um. It's kind of like heavily played, but it's the rest of the card is nice. So I was like, yeah, okay, let's do that one too. Um, Polyrath, he put me at seven for this or something like that. Six or seven. I like, wow, well, okay, I see, I see why. It's actually pretty clean. It's pretty clean. So that's that's okay with me. I thought it was heavily played, but I'm, I was mistaken. Um, then we got this Mega Sableye and Time Manager GX team tag team. They put me at nine for this. I was like, okay, yeah, that's fair. I like that card a lot. Seguro, they put me at like four, I think. But it's, you know, mint. It's like a special illustration rare. So it's really nice. So it's like, okay, give it to me. Hydreigon EX was at eight. That's pretty fair for this card. I had no complaints. Friends and Galar, I think they had seven on this, which is really fair. I love this card a lot from Crown Zenith, uh, especially near mint. Gloria. <laughs> Gloria right there. She was only like seven or eight, one of the two, I think seven. Then we have Professor's Research, put a $6 price tag on this. That's fair, even though I think the price will go down, obviously, in the future. This one I argued him with him about for a little bit because he put it at nine. And I was like, okay, what condition did you put it on? And he said, uh, lightly played, which it kind of is. But like, if you look at it closely, like, like if we're, if we're analyzing it from a closer point of view, you can see there's a bunch of nicks everywhere. So he put it down to least moderately played or like even heavily played. I think he put it at moderately played. So I, he put it like from $9 and then I corrected to like six or something. Something in the middle. So I was like, okay, well, we can do six. Especially since it's giving me such a good good deal on the other cards. These I picked up for six each. They're all near mint. Pikachus. I don't know why these dropped in price so much. Um, this is from Crown Zian set and it was really hard to get initially. Um, I think that it was like over 70 or 100 dollars or whatever initially and then like the price dropped tanks so much because there's so many copies that are out but i really like this card i think it's a beautiful card has all the pokemon in the back so pick them all up i think they will go up in the future for sure without a doubt but we'll keep them if they don't this nessa from lost origin six five five six uh, it's me too you put me at eight i believe but that's fair because it's kind of lightly played um so i was like okay deal deal um zygarde x put me at five which is real fair and feros is put me at five each or six each but that's kind of fair even though they're kind of like heavily played a little bit moderately played i was like you know what i really like that card so we'll take them both um this one i did argue with him for a little bit because heavily played versions of this are going for um like three dollars or something and this one has a crease in the middle uh, the rest of the card is kind of moderately played to like lightly played, but he was like, okay, fine. Because he put it at 10 and then he put it down to like 6 in the end, which is pretty nice. Uh, so it doesn't hurt to ask. Is any resolve that paid 4 or 5 each for? I don't remember. I think they were 4 or 5. I think 5, but I could be wrong. I like that one a lot. Um, this Chansey moderately played, paid at least 5. Um, this one he gave me a pretty good deal. He only put five or six on this one, which it's mildly played. So I was like, yeah, deal. Um, and this one, it was six. Kyurem EX or Kyurem, whatever you want to say. Good deal. So all of that plus the pack for $400. I think that was a really good deal for me. So out of, out of all of them, I'll tell you what, like, I'm pretty sure this one was my favorite deal. Um, just because it had all the cards in it that I really liked. 
All right, next we're gonna go into this six or eighty dollar pile, and then finally the one sixty dollar pile, which is pretty good too. That, that's actually really good, I think, as well. We got a first soap girl, a Rizu, and these are all near mint, by the way. Um, Gengar, two Gengars, another Nessa, a Clara from the promo box. Um, these are definitely not near mint. Sorry, this is all near mint, but these are heavily played to the max. This is a Haunter from Fossil um heavily played you can see the the, the uh marks on the ground or on the back of the card two magnetons both and heavily played from the fossil set as well you can see a little bit of damage i don't know if they're like super heavily played but at least moderately played heavily played it's not the cleanest um this one's heavily played this right shoe from fossil We've got this pidgeot um, heavily played Scyther, I think heavily played again. Yeah, these are all heavily played. Vile Plume, Vile, um, Jungle, heavily played. Needle King, heavily played. It's Polyrath's even damaged because if you look at the bottom, it's kind of like creased over here. Um, heavily played. Then we got this Raichu again and this Nine Tails. They're damaged, full damaged. Like. Mm. There was damage on this one. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, this one bends. Like, like watch this. It's hard to see on camera. It really is, but but it like fully bends. And look at that. There's creases all over the place. In in the card sleeve, I couldn't tell, but like once you take it out of the card sleeve, there's definitely damage on it. So that's not good, but it's not horrible. Um, this one damaged as well. So, but I did get a good array, and this one cost me eighty bucks for all this. So. Not too bad, actually, if you think about it, but definitely probably near market price for most of them, which is fine. Um, not my favorite pickup, like I said. I think it cost me a little more than 80, but I don't know, 80? Um, and then this one right here, $160. This is the final stack. We'll be going over it. It's been a pretty long video, but you get to learn a good amount. This one, kind of like, we got the Arceus. AR2, pretty sweet card in like modern play, leg play condition. The nine tails, ooh, that one's sweet. Oh, conditioning. Um, modern play condition. Got this Breloom. Look at this card. That's actually kind of sick. A fire red leaf green, maybe, or something like that. Modern played. Ditto. All from like around the same era, 2004. That one's cool. But again, I paid 160 bucks for this stuff, so I mean, it's kind of expensive, but Majestic Dawn, <gasps> Articuno, little swirl action, baby, let's go. Pretty clean, I guess. It's pretty nice. Um, Majestic Dawn again, Moltres. Why not? Why not? Looks pretty good. Sceptile, this one's pretty heavily played, not gonna lie. To me, it was, yeah. The corner is bent, yeah. Gardevoir, Gardevoir, got the Victory Bell, Legend Maker Reverse Hollow, we'll take that, that's really sweet, this Polyrath, ooh, super pretty, I like that one a lot, I might keep this one, I'm not gonna lie, it's so good, I might keep that, I don't know, it's cool, unless somebody else wants it, it's cool. Um, Mega Ray Quasar EX, very cool card too, heavily played to damage though. And Togetic, we got a Swirl in the middle, nice, from Team Rocket. Got another Togetic, but no Swirl, so. Gyarados, Reverse Hollow, Ancient Origins, heavily played. Oh no, this is the Reverse Hollow, and then this is the Hollow. Hollow version, Reverse Hollow. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is the Reverse Hollow because the reflect on the, on the back. Over there, but it's the hollow. Reverse hollow. Both heavily played. Mm, not heavily played. Whoops. Espeon. EX. Moderately. That's kind of lightly. Ah, that's kind of moderately played. Then we got the Mew TVX 157. Very cool card. Moderately played condition. And then two of these babies. We have Umbreon EX. No, Umbreon XY96, like promo cards, which is really sick. 
kind of expensive not gonna lie but very good condition so we'll take that that was a really good pile too i really like that one as well 160 bucks for that kind of well worth it i'm not gonna lie but yeah ton of hits a ton of hits keep a few but we'll see i my favorite pull of the day i will not lie has got to be this one right here this Solgaleo and Lunala GX or this PSA 10 Leafeon. They are the most expensive, but they are the prettiest in my opinion. So that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which pile you thought was the best and also what you guys saw of the Comic-Con haul. I didn't expect to spend this much money. I spent around 800 but I think I got my money's worth, I think. Not entirely sure, but... You guys will let me know. I think I did, but again, not entirely sure. Anyways, well, I did enough of the packs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.